There's literally like that ski thing. It doesn't touch ski things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim Zellers. I'm Mark Carter. And this is how we snowboard. Snowboarding, okay. I don't know, snowboarding to me is fun, recreational. It's a vessel for me to, you know, really put in perspective the things that matter. There's a lot of sports that were designed with a purpose. It, skiing was definitely for hunting. It started in the Altai Mountains. They had a purpose, you know, and then you get, then you make it recreational. And snowboarding never had a purpose. We just had, we're just gonna go float on snow. When we started, we just started with a board and moon boots and you just walked up the hill and there was no reason to do it other than, yeah, this is fun. If you took every single superhero, okay, that you've ever seen, and if we just think about this for a minute, superheroes falling out of a building, falling out of the sky, Thor, Wonder Woman, when they land, they don't land like this. They land like this. They land in a snowboard pose. So it just makes more sense that when you're about to do something really fun, like save the world or just snowboard. Yeah. Yeah, you stand sideways. I agree, standing sideways is kind of the way to go. <laughs> Basic level. Uh, Basic level. Board and boots. And boots. You can wear denim, Carhartt's work. Doesn't matter, because you can just, you don't even need bindings. Like you can just, you, it can be that simple, but for well, really need, going out, going out on the hill, and everything else, you're gonna, you know. I guess I would start with my base layer, which I always run merino wool, onesie or pants bottoms, um, really good merino wool sock, then bibs, then like a mid layer depending on how cold it is, then shell, gloves, boots. Balaclava, always. Hat, goggles. Toothpicks. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, good snowboarding boots that are kind of supportive and bindings that fit the boots and then a, a board that fits you and your style. Yeah, in the perfect world, that'd be great, you know. Yeah. That's the I ideal. And I always find, at the beginning of winter, you'll always be just like, I forgot everything. So it takes a minute to kind of like, get your program together. You're all stoked. You've got everything else you need, but you needed your board, okay? If you know nothing, you haven't snowboarded that much, you'll grab a board, put it on the ground, and the tip will probably hit you just above your top lip. Good place to start. You're gonna look at the shape of the board um, from the side view, and you're gonna go, wow, it's got some rocker in it. That's gonna make it way easier to turn. Width, toe drag, foot. If you have a size nine foot, which most boards are built for, the toe and the heel of your boot are gonna be right about at the edges. If you've got a size 13 foot, you know, you're gonna look at getting a little bit wider board. If you're snowboarding down and you get stuck in a heel turn or a toe turn, your stance is too wide, or two, your bindings are shifted too far one way on your board. So then you gotta make sure that your bindings are centered on your board. So the toe and the heel should be about the same distance. It's pretty basic. Go to a rental shop, have them set you up. Yeah, I mean, a simple, like, there's too simple. If you want to, like, <laughs> that would be way easier. <laughs> go to a rental shop. If you want to start snowboarding for the first time and you have the funds to do so, you should get an instructor. One lesson, man. Yeah, just do it. Need. Just get the basics and just go do it. So I'd say try to make your first experience, like, good. You know, having somebody teach you um, properly. So an instructor would be the, the best bet. Right foot forward, goofy. Left foot forward, regular. So it's like the stance, the way you stand on a snowboard. And that's something that's super important to learn. It's probably the first thing you learn. And it has nothing to do with left or right-handed. No. It's more just like what you naturally Well, put it's forward. weird, because I skateboard goofy, but I snowboard regular. That's weird. <laughs> but it's basically like this. Carter, hey, you want to snowboard? Turn around. <laughs> like, go ahead and do this, you know? And you're like, hey, just really relax. And then you just push him and see how he stepped forward with his right foot. Huh. Well, see, I'm confusing because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which way I go these days, but <laughs> I can tell. The other way is to have them run and slide on the ice. It's been a long <laughs> summer on the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as you learn to turn and you, and you learn to carve into that turn and you just feel that board pick you up and there's just some, something about it, centrifugal force and the movement of your stomach and 
everything as you just feel it just sink down in and pick you up. I mean, you know, we, I don't get that in a lot of other activities. It's beautiful to watch the creativity within snowboarding and just watching everybody's take on how they ride the mountain or the train. You know, from Travis to Blake, like everybody, how they ride. It's really cool and inspiring, really. Yeah. What I find is really interesting is when I go out with a group of people and we're going out for the day and maybe it's in the backcountry, maybe it's at the ski hill, but the conditions are terrible. Like they're awful. And so we're only riding low angle. We're just on certain little runs. And you were skiers and snowboarders. And at the end of the day, the skiers are like, I probably should have just snowboarded. It looked way more fun. You it's know? fun. I get that a lot yeah. from those guys that like on, a, on, on the worst of days, yeah. snowboarding is still fun. And yeah. I, I, yeah. Don't need much. Yeah, you really don't need much.